Indigenous Australian People's Expression Through Music. Presentation by Michelle Levine, Jack Blatchford, Melon Sim, and Gabrielle Bielowski. We would like to begin our exploration of the artistic expressions of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land on which we meet today. We would also like to pay our respects to elders past and present. Christina New's rendition of My Island Home, played at the 2000 Olympics in Australia, stayed relatively true to the original lyrics written in 1986 by Neil Murray. The song was written in homage to George Burrawanga, lead singer of the Warumpi Band, though there were some differences written to accommodate the platform within which Anu was performing. We'll take a look into a few of the lyrics and discuss our interpretation of what is being conveyed. Six years I lived in the desert, and every night I dreamt of the sea. The rhetoric here alludes to the dream time, or dreaming, which is a pillar within the spiritual context of Aboriginal belief and tradition. The Anagu, the traditional owners of Uluru Kata Chuta, translate the concept of the dream time as Chukarapa, though it ought to be mentioned that Chukarapa encompasses much more than what is commonly referred to as the dream time or dreaming. The dream time is the spiritual realm or world within which the spirits of the Aboriginal peoples travel. It is in this world that they live and further their connection to the land and to their gods. Being separated from their island home and the sea, more specifically, we imagine that the connections between land and spirit, spirit and person, would most certainly be affected. Murray and Anu recognize the foundations of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander spiritual belief by referencing dreaming. The turtle spear is a powerful cultural token. Aboriginal peoples have relied on spear fishing for nearly 50,000 years. However, spears are also used in traditional dances, cultural ceremonies, and moments of reverence, such as funerals. In My Island Home, the imagery of a spear invokes a sense of nostalgia, taking the singer and the audience to a place and time in the past. National Geographic's Michael Finkel, who lived in an Aboriginal community for several weeks, noted its importance as well, stating, if the new generation chooses the supermarket over the spear, then the end will truly have arrived. The next lyrics we'll be examining are My Island Home, My Island Home is Waiting for Me. These lyrics can signify two concepts. One, there is a longing for country, land, and peoples. And two, there is separation from country, land, and peoples. Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples, as we've seen thus far, have and still experienced not only discrimination and severe hardship, but also face displacement and struggle for identity across his generations and communities. Archie Roach's They Took the Children Away and Adam Briggs's The Children Came Back combined illustrate a serious wound that is now being healed. And though it isn't fully recovered, the strength and perseverance of the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples is certainly something to be admired and recognized. In considering Anu's musical realization of My Island Home, there are several topics to explore in order to receive her message, and those include the sharing of her Torres Strait Islander culture, the declaration of identity as an indigenous performer and as an Australian, the global platform on which she performed, and the responsibility of that representation. In the following clip, we'll hear her express her interpretation of her performance in an interview with Stan Grant. They were originally written uh, for the Rumpy Band and had a different meaning. And of course, your own background as well, and your mother's island and your own heritage. What did it represent for you at that moment? Did you feel as if you were seeing it from where you come from? where your mother comes from, where your ancestors come from? Or was it about Australia and Australia as an island in the world? It was, Stan, it was all of those things. It was absolutely, it was, it was that island that I'm sure that when I was a child, I couldn't wait to be voted off. <laughs> that, that island where the child was dreaming of all of those great big things, 
um, that you, I think you can only imagine because when you're tiny and you live so far away, your dreams are massive. What you imagine your life could be like is is where the playground is and starts. And all of those things were pretty much coming to fruition. So you're sort of you're you're actualizing your 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 dreams, your childhood dreams, and and it represents that small place, but it represents your culture, my family, my you know the 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 fam the the communities, all of them, all of them combined, not just the segregated um, islands of the Torres Strait, but the united Torres Strait Islands, and then all of the communities in Australia. It's flying that flag. It's that moment where you fly the flag for your for your for your island, for your culture, but for the nation as well. It was, it was, it was a responsibility that was great. But wow, what a what an honor! What a what an honor! The news performance at the Sydney Olympics provided a platform for the world to see and experience a piece of indigenous culture. The original Rwumpi version was released around the time of several milestones in Aboriginal people's struggles, such as the Gundawindi riot and the forcible sterilization of indigenous women. The song has affected the political landscape of several countries as well. A news rekindled hope for reconciliation between Indigenous and non-Indigenous Australians. In Tahiti, the musical group Bobby and Angelo covered My Island Home as a symbol of resistance against French imperialism and destruction of the country. The games are a celebration of different peoples. It's important that Indigenous Australians were given the spotlight. Next, we'll examine how My Island Home expresses a connection to land, country, and place, and the strength at which this happens. Consider the following quote. Contemporary popular music by Australian Aboriginal artists has become increasingly evident as a means of mediating Aboriginal viewpoints and agendas into the Australian national consciousness. In the original version, as performed by the Warumpi Band, the initial emotion that can be gleaned from the music video is sadness and longing. Most clearly illustrated as lead singer, Barawanga is standing by himself in an empty room asking, will this place ever satisfy me? It seems that Barawanga is as a face for the indigenous peoples is feeling isolated and searching for his culture, searching for his land and his home. Separation and sadness walk hand in hand as Barawanga continues to sing about being displaced and is aching for the sea. In a news version, and especially in regards to performing as a global representative of the indigenous peoples of Australia, the most prominent feeling the audience absorbs is the happiness and pride of a culture sharing their tradition. Land, country, and place lay the foundation of Aboriginal Indigenous peoples spiritually, and this song in its entirety is a tribute to that connection. By this artistic expression, a portrait in both versions of the song is painted by the performers that leaves viewers and listeners with a rich expression of strength, identity, and hope. In examining Aboriginal Indigenous musical expression of artists like Yathu Yindi, Adam Briggs, Archie Roach, the Warumpi Band, and Christina New, Utilization of both traditional and contemporary components are clear. In Christina New's rendition of My Island Home, Anu contemporized the song by changing the lyrics to fit the atmosphere of a global stage, that is, the 2000 Sydney Olympics, adding in the line, My home is Australia. This is a move towards national unification, which complements the representation of a country. Some argue, however, that by changing the lyrics, Anu, and I quote, displaces herself from her actual home. This meaning, the purpose of a song, which was written to strengthen and honor a culture, has now become diluted. In the Warumpi band version of My Island Home, there is a combination of contemporary elements, including musical assimilation into a mainstream 
soft rock genre. Traditional components include the use of imagery, reference to a long turtle spear in the song, a deeply cultural apparatus symbolic of tradition and weaponry. In Yathu Yindi's song, Treaty, it is likewise clear to see a mix of contemporary and traditional elements. Traditional components like the didgeridoo and clapsticks combined with electric guitars demonstrate how the new and the old can come together to share a message. Song is powerful in its ability to bring people together. An interesting backstory of the song, My Island Home, is that the writer is Neil Murray, a non-Indigenous member of the Warumpi band. He wrote the song for lead singer, George Barawanga. That being said, an important takeaway of learning about Australian Indigenous peoples' music is its power for individuals to show their solidarity and support for Australian Indigenous peoples. The following quote encompasses this concept wonderfully. The collective nature of song as testimony in Indigenous Australia further allows for a possibility of a counter song to be performed not only by members of the stolen generations, but by others for them. Before we end our presentation and take questions from the audience, we would like to pose some questions to you. First, was a news version of My Island Home respectful or true to the original purpose of the song? Next, is there a way to reconcile the differences between the two interpretations? How so? Lastly, is song a good medium for Indigenous peoples to share their culture with others? Thank you for listening.